Alright guys, so we are going to begin with the synthesis of our ester. So first we are adding 3 milliliters of the alcohol reactant to our round bottom flask. This round bottom flask does already have three boiling chips in it. Next we added 3 milliliters of acetic acid followed by two drops of sulfuric acid. There are only two drops of sulfuric acid because remember that that is the catalyst in this reaction, so we only require a catalytic amount. Following the addition of all of our reactants and catalyst, we'll just give that flask a little swirl to mix it all together before clamping it to the ring stand in a heating mantle. We have now set up the reflux apparatus, which consists of the heating mantle on the bottom, the round bottom flask, and a reflux condenser and calcium sulfate drying tube on the top. The purpose of this apparatus is that it is going to heat the reaction to boiling. When it boils, it will vaporize, and those vapors will rise up and reach the condenser, where they will actually condense and turn back into a liquid to rejoin the reaction mixture. Any water that is created as a byproduct of this reaction will also vaporize, but it will rise to the top of the condenser while it will reach the calcium sulfate drying tube and be removed from the reaction, pushing the equilibrium towards the product side. A reaction is considered refluxing when the liquid is running down the sides of the flask and back into the bottom. One eternity later. Now that it has refluxed for 30 minutes, our reaction is complete. So the heating mantle and condenser have both been removed from the round bottom flask and it will be lowered into a tap water bath. This will allow our reaction mixture to cool to room temperature. Once the reaction mixture is cool, we will begin adding 20 milliliters of sodium bicarbonate to the flask, one milliliter at a time. This will neutralize the acid, but it also produces an aggressive bubbling, which is why we add it very slowly. 